Hey there, we're going to um, do some reclassification of a raster image in QGIS today. We're going to use the R reclass function first uh, to reclassify some data on land use in Georgia. This is using some lab data from the GIOG 2011 Intro to GI Science class at the University of Georgia. Um, so we're going to start off with this is land cover, national land cover database data um, for um, Georgia, for the state of Georgia. We can see it's all gray right now. Let's make it look a little more like what we're accustomed to seeing. If you go under properties and choose symbology um, and then go here, down here to the style menu and choose load style, there's a style file that you got with your data um, that gives the standard classification for land use data. Go ahead and click OK on that. Um, in your lab, you're interested in these red um, items here, we're going to look at agricultural land instead um, for this video, since we're not going to just do exactly what the lab says, um, but give you another example. Um, you can see with the, you need to have some rules for how you're going to reclassify these data. We're going to change the 81s and 82s, I believe, to um, 1 and 0. Um, there's just a text file. Um, you're going to use this one, NLCD Reclass Develop. Um, this text file is very simple. It just says for values 0 through 80. Set the new value as 0. For 81 and 82, set the value as 1. And 83 through 200, set the value as uh, 0 as well. So it's a pretty straightforward file. And then we're going to use the R reclass function um, that you can get through the processing toolbox. So the easiest way to get to this, if the processing toolbox is not visible, go to processing toolbox. There it is. And then just type in um, the function that you want. So R reclass in this case, which is from the GRASS GIS. It's an old um, open source GIS software system. So we've got this reclass function. It already knows what raster image you want because it's the only one you currently have on your map. So it's the NLCD is your input raster layer. And then once the files with the rules. So go ahead and click on the, um, oops, let's get rid of that. Um, the develop ag rules that we got. We could also just copy and paste those rules here. Um, we're going to save it as a temporary file for now and click on Run. It'll take about 15 seconds or so, I believe. This is all the output. Um, it's actually just running this as code in the background. So give it a second and it should wrap up. It'll give us a message saying let's, let's reclassify the data. There it is. And then we go ahead and close this. And there it is. So this is all the agricultural land identified as agricultural in Georgia. Um, we can see it listed here is just called reclassified. Um, in order for us to be able to save this in our project, close and reopen the project and have it work, we're going to go ahead and save it to the computer, um, to our working folder. Um, it's easier if you do it this way rather than do it within the R reclass function, um, as this saves it as a GeoTIFF, which is the way that you want it. So again, what I just did here was right click, choose um, export, save as. Um, it says GeoTIFF is the file type. We're going to save it in our working folder. We're, I'm just going to call this Atlanta, or, sorry, um, Ag Georgia. There it is, save. Our projection is 4326. That's what I want. And click OK. Give it a second. You can see it's, can't quite see, but it's downloading right down here. And you can see the progress happening, the progress bar right there. Let's back up again. There we go. So there's our new file. Um, that's all you need to do. So now you've reclassified the agricultural land. In the next video, we'll talk about how you clip it down to the Atlanta metro area.